a lot. Today we'll be <laughs> today we'll be reviewing every single one of the rock's jungle suits. All 21 that was found by me and my good friend Henry who helped to find a lot of these. His Twitter link is in the description if you want to follow him. He posts some uh... Starting off with the Jumanji suit, although not the first jungle suit worn by the Rock, it's definitely a blueprint that was used for later designs, especially the Jumanji ones because it has that running theme, but there's also definitely some influences in the later jungle suits after this film. It's like one of the main images that you think of when you think of the Rock's jungle suit. It's the Jumanji one. It's, it's like classic, it stands out. It's just, I'm gonna put it in the A tier because it's nothing too drastically impressive, but it's not terrible. It's like, it's good. The Jumanji 2 suit features a gun holster and some slight variations to the belt that make it a bit more interesting in my opinion in comparison to the first Jumanji suit. It's got a much cleaner aesthetic in comparison to the original Jumanji suit, but it retains the similar quality of jungleness. <laughs> I'm gonna put this over the Jumanji suit as I feel like this is a, a very solid uh, continuation of what they were trying to achieve with the suit. Builds off of it quite nicely and not in a way that's too drastic. It, it just suits. Next we have the winter variant in the same second Jumanji movie. This has a nice overcoat that's more suited to the winter environment change and overall it blends perfectly with the jungle suit. It's basically just an add-on like a, just a slap on vest and a couple of extra belt buckles and stuff but like it blends so nicely it just sort of feels like a really well designed suit. It keeps the jungle feel and it just changes it perfectly to match the tone that they're going for like the more wintry bit. It, it's great. It's, it's fucking, I love it. Next up we have the rundown suit, uh, the clean variant of the rundown suit, uh, which is essentially just like a basic t-shirt and like some nice sand coloured uh, jeans, like some proper tracksuit sort of uh, bottoms. Uh, then it's got the three signature like marks in the uh, shirt, which we will see later on as well in like the top left. It's it's all right. It's okay. Um, it's it's a much earlier version of the jungle suit. It's all like the prototype, the starting out for everything uh, next to it. I'm gonna put it in the D tier though because it's 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 not got a lot going for it. It's good, but like there's de there's better. Uh, the rundown dirty suit variant I'm gonna put in the C tier. I think the grit and the dirt add something to the t-shirt that makes it like it feels more worn and like battle heavy. It feels like tougher and it blends with the jean color quite nicely to create like this overall complete suit feel like it was made to be dirty and it, it, it definitely suits the uh, markings in the shirt in comparison to the clean version, which doesn't feel like it should have those markings, like it doesn't feel like it's earned those. It makes more sense for the ragged, dirtier version of the shirt to have the rips in it, but if the shirt is perfectly clean, I don't know how the rips got there in the first place. Next up is walking tool suit. I'm gonna put this under the first rundown suit because although it shares a similar theme, like it's sort of a darker version of the rundown suit, swapping out uh, the colors for like the dark variants of them. The white is now a black t-shirt and he's got like a darker set of the similar like cargo jeans. I feel like this is missing that key detail of the like scratches and there's not much other character design here that makes it a lot more interesting. The rundown suit had like the tattoos on his right arm and like the watch on his left. Whereas this, this seems kind of basic overall. Journey 2 is pretty solid. I'm gonna place it over the rundown clean version, but under the rundown dirty. It makes more sense because it doesn't have any of the cuts and the changes in the rundown suit that wouldn't appear if it was a clean variant of the suit. However, it's not as interesting as the rundown dirty variant because it just doesn't have that battle hardness to it. Like it doesn't feel like this character is fully jungle immersed, emerged, blah, blah, blah. Next we have the Fast and Furious outfit with the seven on the on the jacket and the, the jeans here, like the, the bottoms seem quite, they're a little bit more ragged and uh, torn and worn out. It gives, it feels a lot tougher, but like still, I feel like there's something about the dirty version of the rundown suit that seems unbeatable. Like there's something iconic about the three scratches I feel like the 7 is trying to do something that stands out a lot more, but it just doesn't hit the same. It's definitely better than the Journey 2, however. I feel like it's more recognizable and jungle suiting than Journey 2. Although I'm not sure whether this kind of counts, I thought I'd include it just as like an extra. Uh, we have the Central Intelligence get up with the fanny pack. It's comedic and it suits the film, but I think in comparison to all the jungle suits, I'm gonna have to rate this lower 
than the walking tour. This will probably be my least favorite one so far. I feel like the brightness and everything, it doesn't suit the whole jungle aesthetic and it stands out amongst the others in a not very good way. However, arguably, I feel that Journey to Witch Mountain is worse than the Central Intelligence suit. Very similar to the Journey 2 suit, but where Journey 2 has the Rock's bald haircut and like it's it's got a lot more character to it. I feel like Witch Mountain feels a lot more like a casual version of that. Overall, the character is not very jungle material and it's just it feels like a completely separate character to the usual jungle rock that we know. Moving on to some of the outfits from Rampage, we have the Jumanji variant in Rampage, as I like to call them. It's similar, it's very similar to the Jumanji 1 suit. There are a couple of differences. I'd say it's not as good as the, the Jumanji 1 suit due to the lack of like the belt and the slight color variation. It's, it, it, I don't like it. It's, I, I put it in a B tier. I'd say it's better than Rundown in terms of jungleness, but I'm going to put it in B. Uh, moving on to the SNL skit outfit. Uh, which features a hat, um, one of the few to feature a hat actually. Different and yet it's the same. It shares that like usual jungle color scheme that the uh, the ones I've rated at the top so far have. Uh, I think the addition of the hat definitely does something and it brings a certain different character to it. I don't think this is better than the peak at the moment or the uh, two variants of the Jumanji outfit which sort of are like the blueprint for the jungle outfit. But I will say I do prefer it to the Jumanji variant in Rampage. It feels like it's a lot more put together. There's been a a lot more thought put into it uh, in terms of like what character they want to portray. Moving on to Rampage, we have the jacket variant, which contradictory to uh, my friend Henry, I'm actually quite fond of this design. I, I think the jacket adds like, it, it's a nice way of mixing up the formula. It feels tough and it fits that jungle theme. It's got a nice color to it. And it's just like, it's such a simple addition. And yeah, it, it, I feel like it makes a huge difference. Also, I'm kind of a sucker for leather jackets, to be honest. So that probably adds a couple of extra points for me, honestly. Next we have what I call the rundown variant of the Rampage suit, sort of bringing back the clean version of the rundown. It's not entirely clean as you can see, it's sort of still got that slight dirtiness which makes a bit more sense now to have the uh, the top left signature scar mark from the rundown suit but like it feels like it belongs there now that it's in a more rugged worn out suit. The addition of like the ammo band for the grenade launcher that he's wielding at this point in the movie. I feel like the band definitely helps to add to this sort of like he's been in combat, he's like he's done some shit. He's, he's ready, he's ready to go. So I, I prefer this to the Jumanji variant. I'm gonna put it under the, S the SNL skit because I feel like there's an unmatched amount of character in that one. Like th there's a there's a bit more of a personality in the hat and the whole get up than there is in the more edgy like rundown just the shirt sort of thing. Next we have the Jungle Cruise suit from uh, the Disney film and I think it's immediately apparent that it's from a Disney film due to the absolute wackiness of the suit. I think the cartoonishness like works perfectly. I don't know whether it suits the rock but that might be the intention here. Uh, the hat is like completely unique and recognizable and I love the addition of like the braces, the bands, what do you call those? Dungarees. That's what it is. I think. Also like that little bit of red peeking out from like the, uh, the undershirt is great. How it compares to the winter variant I'm unsure. I think the winter variant still is the top here but this is definitely an S tier suit. This is definitely one of the best ones. Up next we have Maui from Moana, which is a very big like detour from the existing rock suits, considering it's an animated character, which sort of changes things up a little. Disregarding that, we're focusing on just a suit, which is sort of like a leaf outfit and it's got like some like pendants. The hook definitely like bumps this up a couple tiers. It definitely adds a lot to the aesthetic, but I'm going to put it in B. No, am I? I'm going to put him in A, but only over the jacket only over the jacket variant because i feel like it's not as recognizable as the jungle suit like the standard jungle suit the jumanji moving on to the various variants of the uh scorpion king we have the scorpion king from the mummy returns which is sort of the the most basic version of the scorpion king suit i'm not sure how i feel about it uh it's 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 all right I think it's the only shirtless one here. Aside from Maui, it's definitely it's the only shirtless rock here. Uh, I think I will put him under the run the rampage rundown variant. 
but above the Jumanji variant in Rampage. I'm, I'm not, I'm not explaining that one actually. Fuck you. Next we have the terrible, horrible CGI variant of the Scorpion King in the same film, The Mummy Returns. I don't know how. I'm very conflicted with this one because the design itself and the scaling pattern in the skin, I, I. A huge fan of but the CGI kind of like it, it could have been implemented so much better and it, it kind of ruins it for me but I'm still tempted to rank it quite high because of the suit I don't know even know if it if it counts as a suit we're gonna count the skin here as a suit it's just cool like it's the only one here with a full scorpion like other creature legs it's 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 super unique um, I think I'll put him probably over Maui. It's very similar to Maui, really. But rather than Maui's like, rather than Maui's outfit, it's got like the full scorpion get up, and I feel like that's a lot more. It's a lot more of a unique tone. Uh, and finally, from the Scorpion King section, we have the basic version of the Scorpion King from its singular spin-off film, where he's wearing a full set of armor. I do think this is probably one of the best suits here. I'm not sure whether this is an S tier. I think it, I prefer it to the first Jumanji suit, definitely. I, I just love the like detail in the armor, but the Jumanji 2 suit is just like, it's too, it, it's too perfect. The Jumanji 2 suit is like kind of a very difficult bar to overcome. It, it's this perfect like jungle it is the jungle um then we have the red notice suit this is quite a recent one and it's very similar to the jumanji one and two versions of the jungle suit it's very uh classic jungle but it definitely has like a very unique twist to it it's got like a very different color scheme and yet it still somehow works it feels very like royal like it feels more of like a professional posh fancy get up the colors is definitely a huge, it makes a surprising difference, especially with like the different belt. It's sort of like some agent thing going on. It, it's great, I love it. I do actually think I prefer this over the Jumanji 2 suit. However, I don't think it can beat the goofiness of the Jungle Cruise suit. I'm not sure. It's another one of those flawless Jumanji style suits. It's just perfect jungle suit. And the color change is just great. I love the colors. But the the effort of the jungle, of the jungle Cruise suit it's unmatched. It's like a living cartoon character. And finally, we have Black Adam. Now, I know Black Adam doesn't exactly come off as a jungle suit, but he did spend a minute or two in a jungle, and I thought it'd be funny to count him. And I think I would rate Black Adam in A again over the jacket. In fact, you know, I'm fuck you. I'm on my list. I do what I want. I'm moving the jacket. Here. Uh, I will not be explaining this any further.